guys, it's Safrina. So today uh, I'm visiting uh, an old friend of mine. Both of us, our girls went to the same uh, Mandarin school and she told me a few months ago that she wants to tear out her main floor uh, to do some renovation. And knowing what I do, <laughs> she was like, Safrina, can you help uh, us out with, you know, making sure that the renovation is going to be more um, aligned with feng shui principles. And so I am here today at her, uh, at her home and uh, we've already gone through preliminary um, recommendations in terms of where um, things should be shifted to and we've worked with the architects. So first things first is the feng shui compass. Um, if you're a feng shui enthusiast, you don't specifically need a luo pan like this, which is like a professional uh, feng shui consultant's compass. You can use any regular compass. Try not to use your smartphone compass because it's not the best. But right now what I'm gonna do is, uh, usually when we get on site, we take a look at what's the facing of the house. There is the common misconception that the facing is always the front door. That's not always the case. So be careful with that. In this case though, the address street is right here and it's got uh, quite a bit of um, car traffic. You're probably gonna hear some cars coming in and out uh, in the background as well. Um, so, so this would be, this whole wall would be the facing side. And because there happens to be a front door here, then I'm going to take the compass reading right at the door. So I can take the compass reading two ways. Uh, one way is to look into the house, and then the other way is looking out. But whatever the compass points towards the street, that would be the facing. So I just did inside, um, so with me looking into the house. Okay, so I got that. Now I'm going to go looking out, just to make sure that I got the first reading correct okay okay so you guys can see that the current front door is over there but um, after doing the permanent energy calculation for the house I actually am suggesting for them to move the front door a little bit closer to actually pretty much where this window currently is right now because the energy in that direction is so much more auspicious Okay, so the current front door is here and it's considered having retreating chi in period nine. In Flying Star Feng Shui, period nine starts in 2024. And since we're doing the renovation in 2021, the, the energy of period eight, which is the current period, is already weakening. So as they live in this house going into period nine, the energy at the front door is considered weakening as well therefore not as prosperous and because of that i'm suggesting that she move her door over here that's a, a different compass direction now and that also is the space where she can make sure that she is clearing the staircase here as well as clearing the tree that is in front of uh, the window as well. So this, we were lucky enough to be able to find this position because it works really, really well for the family. Now, the thing is, even though the, um, the location of the front door is really important, you also need to look at the actual usage. Um, so because their, their vehicle is parked at the back, the family actually uses the side door more than the front door. So while it is good to have a front door that is auspicious, because the side door is going to be high, more highly used than the main door, then the feng shui, meaning the location and the direction of the side door is in fact really important, if not as important as the front door. Now, continuing on the topic of doors. So the client actually runs a food truck business and currently we are in their um, food prep area uh, behind me here. It's a little bit dark, sorry about that. It's a little cloudy in Toronto today. <laughs> uh, but um, behind this wall here is actually the bathroom and that's going to be torn down. That's a soap. This is the back part of the house. So half of it is going to be the dining area and the other half is going to be this this is actually this area is actually going to be where the master bed uh, master bedroom is going to be and going into the dining area here is going to be a sliding door and I suggested initially the sliding door was all the way till the other end of the corner of the house 
but I've suggested them to kind of have it hovering over here right beside um, the wall that separates the dining and the master bedroom because again the energy at that sliding door is going to be really really auspicious especially as we go into period one and the backyard is right behind me there where the window is you know with four kids they use the backyard a lot and thus the the sliding door is going to be accessed a lot as well so you might as well also put the sliding door another entry point for the chi to come into the house where it's going to be auspicious okay so right now we are at the kitchen. The kitchen currently is in the northeast and the client wants to move it to the uh, opposite direction which is the southwest direction. Not the best for the matriarch but we, we will make it work. So here I am at the southwest uh, direction of the home where the kitchen is going in. It's currently used as an office and the stove is going to be floating somewhere around there. Now usually for stoves we don't like for it to be in front of the window. We do like stoves to have full uh, solid walls so um, the, the stove is I think actually is going to miss the uh, window a little bit. And the positioning of the stove is going to be uh, sitting, uh, it has an auspicious sitting and an auspicious facing and we chose the positioning of the stove well actually the client already chose the positioning of the stove and i took a look at it and i'm completely fine with it because it is great for a career progression now i know the client um has a food truck business so that's not career progression that's more of a business luck we will tap into the money luck elsewhere she is potentially going to be working for um someone after she's done uh you know with studies and everything right so having um a stove that supports career progression is always a great thing right now we are in the family room that's going to remain as the family room even after the renovation and the energy is not the best especially for finances but this being the family room i'm completely okay with that we just need to remedy it with more uh, water elements so more blacks and more blues in terms of the um uh, color theme to be chosen here the three main areas that you want to make sure have the best um, energies are the front doors or the doors i should say uh, the kitchen and the bedroom so as long as those three areas or actually i should add a fourth the office the home office especially with covid most of us are working from home so those are the four main areas that you need to place in as auspicious a space as possible all the other uh, places like family room living rooms entertainment rooms storage rooms those can go into the less auspicious areas so the bathroom is currently pretty much in the center of this floor and it's a good thing we're moving it because the center of this house actually is has really really strong uh, money energy especially for the next 20 plus years so we're going to open this up this bathroom behind me that's going to uh, get moved off uh, so there's going to be more foot traffic here and that means remember in feng shui it's not always about putting stuff feng shui is also about usage so even foot traffic this being the center so this is uh, this is uh, the the side doors over here and that side door is going to stay so people are going to come in here and go into the kitchen which is right over there and this area behind me is going to get opened up for more foot traffic as well so with higher foot traffic higher uh, more of the chi being walked in from uh from the doors then that also increases the auspic uh, auspicious chi for the house the client is packing right now so there's a lot of stuff all over the place this whole thing is going to be torn down like next week back feng shui nation if i am new to you and you love classical feng shui meaning real feng shui that gives you real results make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because i will be giving new videos every thursday and make sure you don't miss out on that 